George Harrison is certainly not the best guitar player in the world, but he did leave his mark in the guitar world. He had a particular way of blending all of those past and present guitar players that he was influenced by into a cohesive way of playing for himself. He is often accredited with for making slide guitar more popular in pop and rock music, and he used chords in a way no one had before. Tom Petty often said that George liked to play naughty chords on his songs. When George joined up with Tom Petty and became part of the Traveling Wilburys, they worked with Bob Dylan, Jeff Lynne, and Roy Orbison. Tom and George would often jam for hours when they weren't working on specific songs for the supergroup, and, and this allowed Tom to get a good understanding of George's guitar playing. Tom said that George used a lot of chords, such as augmented and diminished chords, and, and these are what he would often refer to as the naughty chords. At the concert for George after he passed, Jeff Lynne and George's son Donnie played Isn't It a Pity, an example of the naughty chords. Jeff mentioned that George was bold enough to do that, to change time signatures, change keys with, with ease, but always using diminished chords. These same naughty chords were also used on his other songs, such as I'd Have You Anytime. In George's 1980 memoir, he talked about how he wrote that song with Bob Dylan, and he just started playing chords until he got the right ones. He started playing chords like major sevenths, diminished and augmented, and the song appeared as I played the opening chord, which was a G major seventh, then moved the chord shape up the guitar neck to B flat major seventh, and the first thing I thought was, let me in here. I know I've been here. Let me into your heart. George began using strange chords in the Beatles. When the band stopped touring, it opened the door to exploration, and, and George told Guitar World that Rubber Soul and Revolver saw massive positive changes in the band. We just became more conscious of so many things, he said. We even listened deeper, somehow. That's when I really enjoyed getting creative with the music, not just with my guitar playing and the songwriting, but with everything we did as a band, including the songs that the others wrote. It all deepened and became more meaningful. George said he invented a chord during this period on I Want to Tell You. George explained that it's a E seventh with an F on top. Played on the piano, I'm really proud of that because I literally invented that chord. The song was about the frustration we all feel about trying to communicate certain things with just words, and I realized the chords I knew at the time just didn't capture that feeling, so after I got the guitar riff, I experimented until I came up with this dissonant chord that really echoed that sense of frustration. John later borrowed it on Abbey Road. If you listen to I Want You, She's So Heavy, it's right after John sings It's Driving Me Mad. To my knowledge, there's only been one other song somebody copied that chord, and, and that was back on The Chain Gang by The Pretenders. George didn't consider himself an innovative guitar player, but he was in many ways. He pioneered naughty chords, and no one has been able to play or create them as well since then.